Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We have the waders right here in hand, getting ready to put them on. We've got some beautiful water today to wade fish and zero winds. So hopefully there's gonna be some speckled trout, redfish, whatever it is that's gonna be willing to bite. I'm hoping to be able to catch them. Let's get these guys on and get out there. start things off with this paddle tail right here I don't think we have no we don't have a rattle chamber in there but we got some of this shrimp pro cure that we're gonna inject inside it seems to always be a great combination there we go boy these big old four inch paddle tails definitely got a lot of space to put some stuff in there Okay, let's quickly make our rounds and uh, we'll see what happens right here. Oh, that felt like a thump. I don't know. I mean, we're using a heavy lure. It's very shallow. We could be bumping the bottom, but that felt like a thump. Tide is unusually low. I've been here a handful times, but I just recall that it was not this shallow. I'm in knee deep water right now and it is uh, it, it's really out coming big time oh yeah that's us bumping the bottom this lure is too heavy I think I need to swap it out for another one I just got to wait for the pro cure to completely empty that chamber and uh, we can make the switch I don't want to put that back inside my sling pack <laughs> get everything nice and gooey oh yeah you can see that we hit something down there. Snot grass. Hate that stuff. All right, y'all. What I just noticed was from my last fishing trip, uh, I lost my leader. And this doesn't have any leader line. And being that we got oyster here, all it's going to take is like one red to go down and be digging hard, hit some oyster. And when your braid is under tension, the minute that it hits any kind of oyster or a barnacle something like that that stuff is razor sharp and then off your fish goes with a lure so i'm gonna put a leader on right now we'll be right back again and we are rigged up let's throw some pro here on this fellow we're gonna flirt with disaster i mean this guy i'm gonna literally have to bounce off the bottom in order to secure a bite but that's a chance I'm willing to take damn dude I like walked all the way around I didn't think we were going to get that one back, y'all. Goodness. He hit that one on the drop. It's a nice little flounder. That's a good bite, buddy. Way to go, right on the mouth. Not bad, shrimp imitation. Dude, here, let's help you out. Get that sea lice off of you. There we go. Actually, we did not get it off. All right, bro, CBS, hook you up. Whew, wow. Completely went all the way around the world just to get this lure.
So we got something. That might be a crab. I don't know. Maybe a flounder. But he's definitely moving, huh? Little guy, you felt like a darn crab, man. You got the moves, bro. You fooled me. Little bitty fella. Yeah, I mean, like, what it, it only really takes one fish, if you ask me. To make a video. Yeah, because the average the average person that's watching, oh, there we go. The average person that's watching is, oh, quick release. Um, average person that watches is probably catching, you know, one fish, and a, a spectacular day is when you just load up on oh, them yeah. and reds, yeah. Wow. And so, like, I'll be quick. One of our <laughs> I'll be quick to say to anyone, like, man, I got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm no different than anybody else. It's all about luck. There is some skill involved, no but luck. there's no such thing as luck. You know, you it, it's about. You put the on the water. Yeah. You're gonna catch. Well, that know? that's the skill portion, but if the fish ain't there, they ain't no, there. They're not there. So, like, if you get lucky to catch just one. You know, it's it's a mixture of both, but the only difference between me and the main person and my audience, I get to go fishing, you know, a lot more. Yeah, that's the thing with me. I'm... Yeah, when, it go, when, the, when the tide changes the other way, the other side is way bigger. Basically, it's the same spot. Uh-oh. I think he got it. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, I can't. I can't get away from these little fellas. Better than no. Better than Croker. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Thanks. I like the color. I like when them them colors pop like that. Yeah. All right, buddy, I need you to open your mouth. There you go, let that thing go. You don't want none of that. All right, we're gonna have to weed through all these little fellas. I mean, they're all out here. There's so much shell throughout the entire area with right in front of us, the deepest portion. And I mean, heck, I just walked right through there. Fella just kept us cool. I keep telling myself I'm gonna use live bait a lot more, but I just, I don't know, I can't do it. I mean, I'll, I'll use it, but it's just a lot of work. Yeah. It's just like, I gotta get the, I gotta get my little cooler with the aerator, then, I gotta do the uh, the wading bait bucket, yeah. like transfer them over once you get to the water and. Shoot some B-roll and stuff, you know. Yeah. There you go. Get some uh, get some footage of the famous one. Dude, you got. You got two keepers, man. That's an exceptional day. It'll start heating up here before too long. Well, they got something.
Yeah, that wind is, it's gonna do me in. It's getting chilly, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, one more cast, and that's going to do it, y'all. The uh, the lack of bites and the wind that has just picked up. Um, yeah, I think I'm done in. Four fish on the day. Actually, three fish. Getting to see that fourth one. That's good enough for me. It's a gorgeous day. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my time enjoying it with the wife at home. We'll regroup. Get right back out here again tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be another good day, so I'm told. And uh, that's what we'll do is just uh, see what's going to happen. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. I truly appreciate y'all. Don't forget about the 50K giveaway that we will be doing once we hit that milestone. 2,000 more subscribers is all we need. You know what, I better stop walking because this is some really sloppy mud that's going about ankle deep. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And I don't know if y'all can hear me right now, but in case you can, uh, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe, especially if you find yourself coming back for more content over and over again. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, and it definitely would help myself out. If you enjoyed it again, click that thumbs up button. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.